Hello Scorpio and welcome to your monthly love reading. This message will be for July. We'll have a monthly intention. If you find the message resonates, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you'd like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe. Everyone's always welcome here. I offer monthly and weekly. I also offer daily sometimes. Uh, as well as love, career, whatever I feel like I want to add to the channel, whatever is calls to me. I created the channel to um, create kind of a healing, self-discovery, help with self-discovery journey. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to grow as quickly as it was, so I've kind of been putting the website together, making sure that everything was in order. I do have a beautiful website coming up. There's going to be a lot of free things offered, including a area where you can get your free birth chart, among other things. So um, I really wanted to create the website to help incorporate tarot into your self-discovery and self-healing journey. So that, that was really my intention with creating the website. It's almost completed, about a couple more weeks, and we'll have it done. So I'm super excited and I'm look, looking forward to that. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the Manifest Soulmate Oracle cards. I'm going to move into the Crystal Vision Tarot deck. Um, and then I am going to use the Archangel Oracle cards. I kind of switched up the cards that I'm using because I feel like it's probably a good idea to give some decks a rest. And I do have my favorite decks that I resonate with the most, but, you know, you have to have backups, right? So, the card that came out is, start reclaiming who you truly are. So, there may have, you may have been in a situation where you were kind of focused on another person more than you were focused on yourself and you may have lost who you truly were or maybe lost some attributes that were good characteristics about yourself due to trying to people please make other people happy and this card is symbolizing it's time to reclaim that it's time to get back to who you truly are Scorpio so let's see what the tarot has to say about this most important message for Scorpio we'll pull three cards for you three cards for your partner and then we'll get to the conclusion. So, what do we have? We have the Four of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. So, I feel like you in the past may have been with either with a, somebody else and had a family or with this person and had a family. But I do sense that there was definitely some type of um, family situation that you were involved with the, in the past, okay? Now for the present Scorpio, I feel like right now with the Eight of Pentacles, you're really just focusing on your finances, okay? Now, your partner, I do feel like there's been some betrayal in the past with this person either with you or another person, but they're healing from this, okay? And I feel like currently they're in this two of wands 
which is a reliable partnership, but definitely a partnership that needs progression. Needs all parties need some healing, okay? And the reason why I say that, Scorpio, is because the Three of Cups symbolizes betrayal, symbolizes disappointment within relationships, not able to rely on people, okay? And then I also feel like there was a situation in the past not dealing with this person that you have left. Now this person may be overindulging on drugs, alcohol, some type of self-destructive behavior with the Six of Wands in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. I feel like there's definitely some destructive behavior going on and that's why this healing needs to take place. Now the overall energy is the moon. This card I feel like is symbolizing secrets are going to be revealed. I do want to get some clarity of this Four of Wands though. What the Four of Wands is, what's the Four of Wands for? For Scorpio. Four of Wands for Scorpio Spirit. Why is the Four of Wands here in the past? Alright, so I feel like it's an estrangement. Alright, you had a family not with this person in the past and you're still healing from something that happened within the situation. I'm not saying that you're going to go back to that situation. I'm just saying you're still healing from some past hurts and it's subconsciously blocking. It's not allowing you to trust this new relationship. It's keeping you up at night. It has you feeling trapped. I feel like that's why this Eight of Pentacles is here. It's eight, if you look at her, she's kind of alone by herself, working on her... Working on spinning wool. Working on her work, right? Doing what she needs to do. Has her nose to the grindstone. I feel like Scorpio you're not there is going to be justice brought to the situation but with the six of wands in reverse here I feel like there's going to be some disappointment within this situation on your partner's end I feel like you're going to take a step back from the situation to do some healing and this person is going to make a swift decision to leave. And if I know Scorpio, I know that you don't want to hurt or betray them. Because once that happens, their whole mentality about you changes. Okay, let's get some clarity on the Six of Wands in reverse for your partner, Spirit. What's the Six of Wands here for? For Scorpio. For the month of July and love. Why is the Six of Wands here in reverse for their future partner? Conflict. I feel like 
this person and you are going to go through a, a, some type of conflict, some type of separation. Give me one more card for the Six of Wands in reverse, please, Spirit. One more card. Okay, there you have it. A battle. Someone makes a swift decision. I feel like this is going to, like I said, be the completion of this um, cycle. Now, for the... What's challenging this situation? There needs to be balance brought. Okay, there has to be this healing that has to take place on both sides before this can go to the next level. Before you can take this to the next level, there has to be justice brought within this. Okay, I'm not saying that you guys betrayed each other. I'm saying that you guys need to make amends and have closure with both of your past situations before you can come together, okay? But I do feel like with the Fool card here, Scorpio, there's going to be a new opportunity that's going to come forward and present itself that's going to be a lot more fulfilling than this partnership. And you may not be able to see this right now, I'm not saying to rush into anything. What I feel like is best for you now, Scorpio, is focus on this healing process, getting closure with past situations, okay? Um, making amends where you need to make amends. Healing yourself. Get clear on what it is exactly that you want out of relationships in general. What are some characteristics that you see your partner having? Don't try to name names. Try to name characteristics. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, this is so funny. Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. That's so interesting that that comes up with the card that came up, the oracle card, start reclaiming who you truly are. That's so interesting to me. I feel like this situation is going to put you back on track. It's going to bring balance going to put you back on track of where you need to be. Healthy lifestyle. Eat healthy diet. Get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. You may not be taking care of yourself at this time, Scorpio. You may be lacking on something. If you're not eating right, at least take vitamins. At least get daily vitamins. Okay? Leadership. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So, it's symbolizing that you are a leader, Scorpio. This situationship may have kept you from that. It's time to move forward and reclaim your power. Remember who you are. So that's the message that I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.